Welcome back to the second unit of this course on uh, the United States politics of the U.S. through film. Now, unfortunately, there aren't any really good films about the Constitution itself and the contents of it. Uh, so for this unit, I'm going to start with a film that at least bridges the gap between the time periods from uh, before the revolution to the revolution itself. And that film is called The Patriot, starring Mel Gibson. Now, Gibson plays a veteran of the French and Indian War, and we talked about that in the last unit, right? And uh, when we pick up with him, he's actually renounced war. He doesn't want to go to war again, doesn't want to fight again. He's almost really a pacifist. But he ends up getting dragged into the fight of the revolution anyway. Now, The Patriot was generally well-received by critics and is known for its historical accuracy about this time period. From here, we're going to step forward a couple hundreds of years <laughs> with the critically acclaimed television show, The Wire. Right? Now, here in Korea, I was able to get a hold of season one of the DVDs. Uh, maybe you see it on my shelf up here. Yeah, there it is right there. <laughs> uh, and it did have Korean subtitles, but only season one. Uh, but that's okay. You really just need the couple first, you know, couple of episodes, right? What you're watching in this is the process of beginning this criminal investigation, Especially interesting here is watching the, the police officers interact with the judges, right? Uh, and what they have to do with the judges. And I want you to note how hard it is. Right? They know that these bad guys are doing something wrong, right? So why do we have all these rules that seem to make it as hard as possible to do their job? Well, those rules come from the Constitution, specifically the Bill of Rights. We'll talk more about the Bill of Rights uh, in a couple of units. Right? But the point is, you know, these, these rights in the Constitution are actually there to protect the innocent people and to make it difficult for the police to do their job. Right? That brings us to our next film, L.A. Confidential. Now, L.A. Confidential won all kinds of awards. It explores how police refusing to follow these rules and not respecting the constitutional rights of citizens can actually make it more difficult for them to do their job. Now, that's a similar theme explored in the Korean movie Memories of Murder, another great film. Uh, but the point of me bringing that up is that these questions of rights of citizens are not exclusive to Americans in the United States. They're fundamental questions that every culture, nation, and government has to figure out for themselves. Now, the film's rendition and truth take these questions a step further. Both try to make sense of the use of torture by the U.S. military as part of terrorism investigations in the U.S. There are some really hard questions here. Is torture okay if it leads to information that saves lives? Should agents of the government respect the God-given rights of every human being or only U.S. citizens? Think about these questions as you watch these films, and I'll see you in the next unit.